Hello, my fellow YouTube students. I came back from Australia and I came back with a lot of new videos for you. They're not yet made, but they will be made soon. And this is the first one of them. This is part 10 for Journey Disparity. And we left off like half a year ago at this point. <laughs> Alright, so this is for me kind of the second chorus, I like to call it like this. And it's pretty much the same as the first one, where you already played this... Um so you already know this. It just changes a little bit. Because this chord, you don't play it twice in the beginning like I already said in the last video. But you play, you start with the last two notes of your left hand. So you start here. Alright. So basically the same. The same two notes start at the same time. And then you go, uh, then you go down to the chord. To the first one. And you play it with the left hand. You go up to the next one. And the last one. Then you start again. Go down. Go up. And down again. Alright. So after you start with, with those last two notes. A flat and C. You go down to this chord. And it sounds like this. Start again. And then this little thing changes where you go. So as you can see, every single note on the right hand has its note on the left hand. Just play it simultaneously. And yeah, the only thing I'm going to do now in this video is play it really, really slowly. So you can pretty much follow on the keyboard or whatever you play. And yeah, and then I'll get faster and faster. And you'll also get faster and faster. That's the thing that works. Alright, so let's start. So as you can see, it gets even more difficult if you play it slowly than if you play it fast. So do whatever you can do better. Maybe you can even stop the video and see exactly which notes I'm playing on which hand simultaneously. And yeah, so let's get to the next part. 
All right, so the second part of the chorus sounds like this. So it's like back and forth with that C in between, like I learned in the last part. So this, that is basically how I put it together. So let's hear that once more, maybe a little bit faster and the whole chorus. Yeah, so as you can see, it's pretty difficult for me to play it really slowly because you got it really fast already. But yeah, you just practice that over and over and over and over again until you can play it with your eyes closed. And if you did that, then you can go to the next part in which I'm going to teach you this. So yeah, that's going to be the next part. And until then, you just practice this part until you can play it really fast. And if you have any questions left, just post them in the comments or write me an email. And I'm going to see you in the next video.